So today what we're going to do is show you Hoobs and how you can use it to install almost any device on the HomeKit. A special thank you to all my patrons who without your support this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a supporter of the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome to TechnoDad Life and my name is Jeff and we make technology simplified. And today what we're going to be doing is setting up and reviewing the Hoobs kit. And Hoobs reached out to me and they sent me this kit. And so whenever anybody sends me it, I always give it away at the end, but I am going to be setting up Hoobs on my own server after this. So stick around to the end if you would like to win this. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. So if we look at the box, we can see it's compatible with HomeKit, Google Assistant, and Amazon Alexa. And if we open that up, let's see what's inside the box here. So we have our hoops, which looks about Raspberry Pi shaped. It has a, a USB, micro USB connection there and an ethernet connection. The USB ports are covered over. And if we look further down in the box, we have some directions. And then it uh, looks like we have a USB cable, ethernet cable, and a charger. And down in the bottom of the box, there are those different items. So let's plug it all in and let's get started. And before we actually turn it on, let's just look how much it costs. So the box itself is $169, uh, but there's also, you can uh, order a SD card for a Raspberry Pi, or you can name your own price with uh, PayPal. So next we wanna go to hoobs.local and we're going to sign in. Once you've done that, cr click create accounts. And so now we're into the Hoobs GUI. And so let's just take a quick look around. So this is the dashboard. Here you can see it automatically has the weather, but the weather for someplace else. So how you would change that is you click the cog wheel, uh, then change your country, whatever you need to do. Then click Save Changes. And you can see down here in the corner, it restarts the bridge. Go back and now we can see, now we have more weather that we have here locally. Uh, let's just go down the side here. So the next one would be any accessories. We haven't added any yet. We have our logs. We have our users. And down at the bottom we have plugins. So right now we don't have any plugins installed. And on this page normally there would be a list of the most common plugins but they're redoing hoops right now, so it's not there. And before we install any plugins, let's just look at everything else here. If we click on the three dots, we have our profile, stop service, restart, reboot, shutdown, about configuration, system, help, terminal, and logout. And most of the time you won't need any of those because it's pretty darn simple. So I have two different things that we're gonna install today. So I have this TP-Link Casa plug I have a Waze camera that I put the RTSP driver on so then uh, we can uh, get the feed, video feed from this from anything. If we go to plugins.hoops.org, we can see the most popular plugins, featured pro plugins, and some statistics. And you can see it has sort of the most popular things here. We have cameras, Wemo, I don't know what syntax is, Hue, Broadlink, uh, IFTT, Wake on LAN, Harmony Hub, and Nest. And the feature plugins, which are plugins that are Hoobs approved, we have Hue, Ring, Shelly, and GH, GSH, which is Google Home uh, Assistant. So if we go back to Hoobs, we want camera. And so we want to install this first one. So first what we're going to do is look at the details. And so this will this will explain exactly how to do this. So if we scroll down here, you can see it's an example for a Waze cam. So we're going to copy this. And when we copy it, we actually just need a couple things from our camera. So 
If we look right here, we need the username, password, and the IP address of our camera. And you can get that through the Waze app. So we're going to copy that, paste that into a word processor for later, click install, and it's time for a cup of coffee. So now it's done installing, and here we have the configuration page of the add-on. And if we scroll down, in this place where it says camera, all we have to do is paste in our configuration file that we copied earlier and put in our, IP, or our username, password, and IP address. Then click Save Changes, and it's reset the bridge. So now it's set up, nice and easy. So let's go to the next one. We'll click on Search. And for this one, I think it's TP-Link. Yep, TP-Link Smart Home. Look at the details. And so I have a HS103 plug. You can see on this one, it discovers the device automatically, so we shouldn't have to do anything for this. Go up to install, install, and it's time for more coffee. And so it successfully restarted the service. And here you can see, it doesn't look like much is happening, but uh, now we have that installed. So I'm just gonna make sure our plug is plugged in. Now if we go back up to accessories, now we have, uh, for some reason it shows three wise cameras here. We can edit accessories and add or delete things and we can add a room for those. Uh, but we don't have to if we're going to be using HomeKit and the Home app. So next what we need to do is add Hooms to HomeKit. So we go back to our home page. So next you want to go to your iPad or iPhone. And here you can see on mine, I have a HomePod installed as my HomeKit ad ad device. And we're going to click in the top corner, click Add Accessory. We're going to scan our QR code for Hoops, click Add Anyways. And so now we get to define our uh, devices. So there's the Waze Cam. We're going to put this in Back Office. And the Casa Solo, we're going to put it also in back office. And we're going to use the good nights and done. And now you can see that my Casa device is there. And we can turn it on and off. Now I'll do it. I'll put this up here. There you can hear that. And you can see here my camera is all set up, and we'll open that up actually. And we can wave hi myself. Good. You can see that Hoobs is a super easy way to add in devices to your HomeKit that are not HomeKit supported out of the box. But if you use Hoobs, which means HomeBridge out of the box, they are supported. So definitely I'm going to be using this forward, but if what I usually do is give away anything that's sent to me, they did not send me any money, they just sent me this, so I will be unbiased. Uh, so if uh, you're interested in winning this, so I'll put out a video in a week. That video will also be HomeKit related. But if you'd like to win this, leave in the comments down below your country of origin. If you're using HomeKit already, and what is your favorite automation that you like on HomeKit? And so that's it. For, oh, and uh, so I'll be leaving in a week from now. I'll be leaving in that video, which will also be a HomeKit video, who is the winner. And that's it for today. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.